Ladies and gentlemen, in this Red Gaming Tech.com video, I'm going to be taking a look at Garshasp. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. If not, then please feel free to correct me. Temple of the Dragon, currently available on Steam for 10% off, and it's actually a pretty good price, £3.59, and is developed and published by Dead Mage. I'm going to be using the controller for this just because I feel it's going to be more appropriate, but of course, I will be taking you for the graphics options and everything else as well. So anyway guys, let's get on with it. Now the game does lose a few points that the only way to get to the configuration is through a launcher. There is no other graphics options available apart from the launcher. Graphics quality can be set to low and high. There is no medium. Texture quality, however, does not have a low, medium, high. You can also choose the ambient sound and effects volume as well. Enable shadow and HDR. And of course, all the different uh, resolution options that you'd expect are available. Finally, you've also got key mapping available. I'm going to be using as a 360 pad, which works fine. And under advanced, you can choose different rendering devices if you happen to have a couple of um, graphics cards in your system for whatever reason. Other than that, it's fairly simple. So it's not going to win massive um, awards in terms of configuration, but hey, it is a fairly cheap indie game. So I'm not going to um, come down too hard on it. Anyway, let's jump into the game itself. We've been searching this forest for days. I'm tired. Father said we'd find his manuscripts. Why haven't we then? So we're into the game properly, as you can see. Rats, Graphics are not may. awful, awful. I've seen far worse. Find it. I'm sure we're going the right way. Come along. Well, at least let's take a rest. I'm your brother. Can't you see I'm dying? <laughs> oh dear. We can't wait. Something in this forest is chasing after us. Oh dear. Can't you feel it? I can feel something. What? I don't feel anything. It's a very interesting sword design, I'll give him that. This forest is not a safe place at all. Father said it's full of ogres and demons. What dragon wants to stop me? Athrat said his mace is hidden somewhere in the forest. And I'll kill any animal who'd block my way. Oh dear. Well, the lip syncing's not going to win an award. And neither of the foliage, which. Is it worth this much trouble? Seems yes, to be held together it. by invisible here. wire, Possibly but nevertheless. I don't want to find a mace, and I'm not going anywhere. Stop being a coward. Search the left side. You may find a clue there. We'll meet on the stone bridge. This is the Temple of the Dragon. The dragon carved by Tour Edge. What if the dragon comes up? Should I fight with this? Yeah, he did kind of get the short end of the stick, quite literally. I've got a big old sword with glowy armor. He's got... I do with this piece of metal? I don't know. A partially sharpened... <laughs> dagger, at best. That's the kind of thing that, you know... Ugg, the caveman, would have kind of cobbled together and have been really proud to show his wife. Anywho... Okay, we can actually move with the thing. You guys can see, however, I can still move with WASD. So, just show that. It does work fine. As you can imagine, left click is your swinging. And with the 360 pad, it's X. Unsurprisingly, space and a jump. So, it seems to work fine um, on both. So, that's cool. So, let's have a quick look. Anywho, I'm going to be using 360 pad, object Okay, only problem is I don't have a clue what the hell button that is. Uh, let's see. Oh dear. A E? No. 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 Ah, uh, that's the only problem. You've got absolutely no idea. What okay, I'll just press bloody E on the keyboard and give in. Nothing was remained to burn from the iron armor or the body of Sham due to the sword wounds of the Ashmogs. We did as he had requested left him in the wilderness for his soul to return to the nature. I felt lonely seeing the carnivorous birds flying over his dead body. Okie dokie, Skip. Um, 
one thing that does come to mind, unless I am missing how to do it, and I'm fairly sure I'm not, I can't actually adjust the camera angle on this particular part. I'm moving the mouse using the analog stick. Using the analog stick indeed gives you the roll in a, the, the direction you press it. I'm referring, of course, to the right analog stick. However, I will look. So we've got a couple of attacks. Okay, frame rate is not bad, as you'd expect. Okay. Combat at the moment is not terrible. I mean, it's not exactly Devil May Cry or anything, but it does do the job. I will say it's actually fairly satisfying to do that attack. It kind of reminds me of a... I think it was the Sword of the Berserk on the Dreamcast. In terms of maybe even the graphics as well. The graphics are not ta terrible though. So it's got the usual um, thing of you can move when and only when you have defeated enemies. Okay, that was awful. Although it also kind of illustrates the rather interesting collision detection, but nevertheless. I, I'm not going to hold the game responsible for that, that, one, that was my complete fault on the jump, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Okay, this guy looks a bit stronger and also carries a staff. One would assume he has magic. Okay. Now, unfortunately, eh, I'm assuming that blocks it. Let's see. Okay, so excellent. That's simple. Huh. Interesting. So you can't cancel anything while you're doing that attack. That's a pain in my butt. However, you can kind of glitch. And you don't actually have to aim in a specific direction. So you can block like that. And it's actually fairly okay. Die. Ow. Okay, I really don't like being that close to the edge. Combat is a bit clunky at the moment. Maybe that's just me sucking at these type of games, although I'm usually okay at them. Apparently I'm living on a prayer. Wow. That's kind of annoying you can roll off the edge. Yeah, I'm going to just give it... Okay, jumping is irritating. Also, I'm not sure if it's just my imagination, but I didn't think to take damage there. I'm going to have to review that on the video. Okay, let's see. The game mechanics are quite interesting. The role is actually not that useful. Because you can't cancel anything mid-roll. In fact, it's actually kind of... See, you have to actually guard mid. Which is a bit strange. Although you don't seem to need to actually aim at them. In fact, I seem to have a guard all. Yeah. Which makes it a bit... I'm going to see if I can actually guard against that. Okay. I'm going to be a bit careful around here. Okay, that is annoying. Die, will you? There we go. I'm assuming I've killed them all. 
Seems like it, unless these guys are coming back to life. No. You can slide down from some walls. Are you going to tell me how you do that? No? Ah, okay. So you just walk to the edge, okay. I would have preferred if it had actually said just go to the edge, but never mind. Okay, we have an icon here. I don't have a clue what that is on the 360 pad, which is irritating, but nevertheless. Okay, that heals me. It's kind of like God of War. Not quite as cool as God of War, but eh, there we go. Works. So far, my thoughts, in case you were wondering. I mean, you've got foliage that looks like that. Once again, I cannot figure if there's a camera. I'm assuming is not um, control. I will double check that it doesn't seem to be. Um, I would have thought it would have showed me that by now. It kind of tells me that there's reasons behind that, i.e., for example, they did not render much of the game so far. In other words, you know, it's a very small visible area of the game. However, while I could compare this um, to... Okay, I'm not sure sometimes if that's a happy face or a bad face. Okay. It did not look a very friendly spear, did it? Sphere, should I say. It has spikes. I'm usually not fan, a fan of going towards things with spikes. Speaking of things with spikes, nope. Oh, apparently B is interact. Wasn't working earlier. Interesting. Oh, I must have derped it. That's all I can think of. I didn't press the button or something. Regardless. Huh. Interesting. Massive frames per second drop here on this section for me. And when I say massive, I mean massive. Now, bear in mind, my recording software does sometimes interfere with my game, but it's actually showing me 20 FPS. Now, bear in mind, my system can quite happily uh, run Crisis on 1080p, so this game, it's, you know, 720p. Uh, well, let's just go with... Oh, that ain't good. Did you see that? Where the castle was tiling? Um, you can... God, that reminds me of a sneaky ass trap that was in Tomb Raider. Okay, I think we get the point now. Quite literally, in fact. Gah! You're not gonna let me skip you, are you? You're gonna make me watch this painful thing. Okay, I'm gonna keep that because that's obviously health. Um, wait, what's this? Ah. God knows I need them. Excellent. Uh, oh, splendid. See, this is one of those times I would absolutely murder to be able to change the bloody camera angle. In fact, is it just my imagination or are they sometimes coming out of view? No, it's not. They're not coming out of view. Ow, son of a bitch! Okay, so they come up like this. Okay, I wasn't even quite touching them. That is irritating, I can assure you. There we go. Seriously, grab the damn object. There. I can honestly say that was just annoying. Not hard, just annoying. Okay. He doesn't... I will say I do quite like some of the creature designs, however. Okay, they've got a few issues with the resolution and textures and models and blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't look bad. Let's see if I can guard against this guy's highway attacks. I'd just like to test that early on. Yes. How about you, my good sir? There's actually blood on the floor. That's kind of nice. Okay, so power attack, certain stuff I cannot guard against yet. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that is annoying. Okay, you're dead. Excellent. Right, let's get this. Rip that down. Heal up. Excellent. So far, it's not bad. I mean, 
that anything? Is that anything shiny? Or you just... No, there we go. There's a rather interesting way to open the levers, but fair enough, whatever works for him. I mean, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, how does it compare to, say, Darksiders, which has obviously just been recently released. Well, recently, I say, you know, a while back, but not exactly too long. Um, we have got quite a few games available on PC, and don't forget, if you own a console, which I'm sure many of you guys do, you've, of course, got access to games like, of course, God of War. But... Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. See, I would like to be able to see what's around here, but I cannot. It's irritating. Okay, so... I'm just curious. Can we keep going round and round and round? Where it stops, no one knows. Okay, so that's just where I came from, I'm 90% sure, sure, certain, and positive, but, eh, no way. No? Although I didn't get to see that earlier. Yes. Okay, well, I've got a save sphere, might as well use it. Interestingly, we don't get to have different slots, however. I don't know why I did that, since, you know, it's going to give me health, which is not... An ideal scenario. Ah, apparently that was a different way. It's a bit hard to tell. It's a bit samey. Oh, that is a big ass guy. I don't want him. Let's focus on the weaker dudes first. I don't know if that's the probably correct response. Okay, that is annoying. The fact he's got that so quickly. Let's move away from the big ass attack. So far, I'm finding the light attacks actually probably better overall. Okay, he's not happy. Uh, there we go. Make him waste it. Unless I can get through his attack, that's kind of annoying. There we go. He's dead, excellent. I'm not sure what that quite accomplished yet. Nevertheless, he is dead, and I have... Ah, can we get up here? There we can, sort of. Not quite sure how you actually climb up. B, maybe? No. Okay. There we go. Oh, dear, he drags himself up a bit slow, doesn't he? He's supposed to be a hero, an adventurer. Jeez. Come on, get the... Bloody item. There we go. Uh, no, not one of these again. For the love of God. For all that is holy, not another one of these. Okay, well we can see it's fairly simple actually. So, yeah. Unfortunately, the camera angle completely changes, of course. Oh, really? I've got to fight enemies here. That's just irritating. Can we get back onto here? Okay, we can. I might actually do the quick and dirty solution of actually going onto there to fight them as soon as I can. Oh, no, apparently that's not. The easiest way probably would be to lure them into them. Okay, we we'll just leave that guy to stand there like a chimp. It's good to see the AI is excellent on this game. There's another one apparently. Okay, move, 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 move. Okay, excellent. Okay, there's more of them. I'm unsure if I've got to just keep fighting them. I'm pretty sure I do. Excellent. Oh, that wasn't that bad that time. Uh, I do not like the spiky death moves, however. They are annoying. 
Speaking of which, jumping. On this game, it's not the best. He feels a bit clunky. It feels like gravity has an unusual hold on this man. Uh, I do like the scenery, although you can see down there, in between the two columns, directly adjacent to me. I think that's supposed to be water effect, although it's not really coming across as good as it should. I'm actually surprised I didn't slide off there. Huh. Okay, so... He actually has an unusual grip with his shoes. That's pretty impressive. Oh, we can actually double jump. Okay. Okay. We can get on. Come on. Come on. There you go, little fella. Oh, dear. Seriously. Fail harder, please. Okay. To be fair, he's being chased by a big ass minotaur. Ogre thing. How did I know that was going to break? Aha! Man, a body of death. Tainted with all sorts of dirt. I will find you and hit you with this blade. And then you'll forget about your god worshipping habit. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, that that was just that was just terrible. True story, bro. Uh, uh, it's not a bad wound, but it can't come with you. I don't know if I want you. That's the thing. Found this in the forest. Here, get it. In full failure, I only actually managed to grab it. Bless him. Considering his agility of actually climbing on the ledges, forest? I'm fairly impressed. Who was that monster following you? It came up when I picked up this tablet. His name's Tom. I'll hide among the trees. You go for the mace. A little bit further, you'll find a passage to the temple. I think all monsters living in this forest, including the one you just saw, who's their leader, are searching for this mace. You don't say. Just walk it off, son. Gershus, come back with something that's Gershus. worth these wounds. Okay, he's still speaking, apparently. They didn't really do the whole sinking thing that way. What the hell? Uh, that doesn't sound good. Not really going to say much to that one. I'm just going to... That, that one's... You know, get the balls up there. There we go. That was. Yeah. I don't think you should put narrow ledges unless you can shimmy. To be fair, he might be able to shimmy. I don't want to say he can't, but to me, he should have automatically grabbed on if you can. Let's see what he says. I'm sure that Turag has summoned the dragon of the temple by alchemy. The historians of Deves have written that the Deves following Turag were faced with a ferocious dragon. They had killed Turag with great courage, but were defeated by the dragon. In the history books of us humans, we read that Turag was the brave warrior. History is written by the conquerors. Hmm. Is it me, or does he sound an awful lot like the Jewish shopkeeper? I cannot remember his name from Family Guy. Hmm. I'm kind of hoping I can get some more abilities to show you guys. Ow, ow, and ow. Okay, you know what? You are a pain in my ass. This is not Dragon Ball Z. I'm not going to just let you power up a super move. You do not have Final Flash. Yeah, I've got Final Flash, bitch. That was actually an unintentional roll, if I'm honest, but I'll take it. 
But one thing I do like about the combat, well, one of the things I do like about the combat, is that heavy attack, despite the fact it takes longer to charge up than it probably should, it does do AoE, which is kind of helpful on occasion, as you can imagine. However, ow, 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 ow. I would have thought I'd have been dead by now since I have. Ah. Default middle mouse button and left click. Okay, let's just keep murdering because I don't want to. There we go. Alright, how do we do this? Middle mouse button and left click. I'm assuming it's that. Okay, I, I, I'm assuming it's that. Yeah. Oh! The awesomeness is quite a profound or something. I don't know. So. Okay, so you need that meter that I just pissed away. Could have warned me it requires meter. Uh... Okay, it didn't actually kill me though. Ooh dear. Now, is there a gap in between those? Never mind. Okay, it doesn't actually just kill you. Okay, excellent. I'm just curious what it's like. It doesn't actually kill you one hit. That's, that's fair. Okay, fair enough. So you can actually screw up a little bit. That's alright, it's good. It's kind of a weird pan. Uh, let's see. Might as well. Oh, really? Okay, that was an interesting camera switch. There's not that much variations in the enemies, he says. Okay, the witch doctors are a pain in the ass. I can only assume that well, necromancers or something similar. There is actually too many of them and it makes the fight annoying. Annoying actually, but never mind. There we go, I think I've killed him. I think they die pretty quickly now. Ow. Okay. Excellent. They're all dead, Jim. You can still hear the slimy things in the background. Uh, we've got some more stuff here. We reached the jungle borders after passing through the dry plains. Oh, at least we can continue Jen. to actually play while it's being a lad who oh, knew excellent. the passages of Hirmand. It would not have been possible to pass the haunted plains without him. Hmm. There's a little village called the Windy Town in the west of Ring Jen. It must be stinky. A lot of beans sold there, I'd imagine. Another one of these puzzles, I will say, one of the issues I have with the game um, is a lot of these puzzles seem to be done to death too quickly as well. Um, it's kind of like, I actually, I'm just going to run through these and see how I do, really. See, that's actually kind of cool, that one. I actually had a bit of, you know, thought behind it. Okay, so it actually goes through. Strange. Let's destroy his idol. I'm sure it won't upset anyone. There we go. It's only their symbol of religious worship. I'm sure that won't upset any. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm assuming there's a reason. Okay. There. Yeah. 
yeah, I think we could have got on that in a very brief overview. So, let's see what happens. I'm sorry, I'm just curious what happens where you can take it. That kind of thing. So we've got two. What does the other one do? I'm curious. Ah, oh, I see. So it's a different set of bridges. Okay. So, both are effects. So it's a puzzle, if you will, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're going to pop that one there. And then... I'm assuming I can only do one of these at a time. That's just a theory. So let's go for that one first. I'm also going to assume that I'm going to have to jump over these. It's a bit of a glitch when he gets on that. Not terrible or anything. Uh, let's see. There we go. At least heal. Let's see what's up. Yeah, Get up there, you twit. Get up the... Yes. I kind of like the way he pushes the lever down. I must admit, it's grown on me. Grown on me like a weed or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't like the way he gets up there. It looks very clunky. Oh, of course. Yes. Okay. So that's actually fairly effective. Uh, it's kind of a, I wouldn't say cheesy, but it's a very effective way to murder them if you're not got the witch doctor. The witch doctor kind of makes it a bit trickier. Not like, yeah. There we go. Not exactly in possibility mind, but not exactly. Yeah, sometimes you think you've made the jump, other times you clearly haven't. Like there, I was not sure at all. Uh... The windy town is I'm a fan of the fact that you can actually from skip. The east end and the jungle of the dragon from Excellent. the west. A huge statue of a warrior sits in the bazaar and the locals call it Kulmach. His wrist is the size of my neck. Huh. It appears that he has been the head of an immigrant tribe. I do like that there is some story. I mean, you can tell that it was, you know, attempted to be put together like quite a lot. Once again, frame rate is really different on this. Now, once again, it could be my drivers and my PC. It could be the recording software does not like this game. Or the game doesn't like the recording software. Or a dozen other reasons. So I can't blame the game. I'd like to say that it's the game. And give you guys a decisive you know, answer. But obviously. Um... Oh wait hang on. That's a good point actually. You know what? Alright fair enough. You want to keep blocking? Feel free my good chat. Oh, there we go. I can actually grab them. I actually forgot about that move. I think I'll get just a little bit further and I'll call the video. I think you guys get an idea by now about whether you want to purchase it. Now, okay, it's not the greatest game in the world. But, there are some things to remember. First of all, it's three pounds. Secondly, it's actually not bad. I mean, the writing is not the greatest I've ever seen. Okay, it looks like it's fell over. No, oh, there we go. That was the longest save. As you thought for a second, the game did crash. Um, it's not the greatest game I've ever played. It's not Dark Siders 2, but come on. What the? What the? What the? What the hell? Oh. Okay, I'll be honest. I did not even see that for a second. I was, I, I was trying to. Address the audience. Oh, that worked well. Fair enough. Yes. 
Yes, excellent. I swear, if he still shoots me from arrows all the way down there, I'll scream. Okay, that guy just didn't like living, apparently. His girlfriend had left him or something similar. Really? You're gonna shoot me? Get off the bridge. There we go. Oh, goody. Another one of those. That's what I always wanted for Christmas. See, now these puzzles are becoming a bit irritating. Um, so, my overall thoughts of the game, I'm gonna call it here because I don't want to do another one of those puzzles, quite frankly. Um... Actually, I'm just curious, what, what does this actually do? Uh, I see. So, it's basically variations of the same theme. Um, with this one, obviously, you have to figure out where exactly you want to relieve an area so you can get through it. I don't have a particular problem working on these puzzles. I'm just going to rotate it all the way just to give you guys a final idea. Um, I don't have a particular problem working on these type of puzzles as a general rule, but I don't really... There we go. I mean, I'm assuming that looks like I'm, I can get past it. Let's just check out of idle curiosity more than anything. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. I mean, the puzzles are not that like, difficult or anything. They're just a bit irritating. Um, anywho. So I'm going to pause it here. Um, don't know why I'm pausing it, but nevertheless. Actually, I'm curious if I put back. Can I access any? Nah, never mind. Just wondered if I could get me to character screen or something. Unless I can press tab. So, as I was saying, um, it's not a bad game. It's £3, £4, something like that, depending if you get it uh, on or off sale. It's not Darksiders 2, it's not God of War, but you can't expect that. Um, these guys are obviously small developers, they're indie developers, and that's fine. Um, if I had to be honest, I would say it's worth picking up if you just want this type of game. It's kind of fun, the combat is a little bit clunky at times. Uh, there is few things I would definitely change with the combat. The jumping is a bit iffy. I kept falling on that platform at the start because I I don't know, I just expected the character to be what's the word, a little bit more a little bit more agile, I think. Uh, even for example when I was trying to climb up the platform. It is, however, actually one of those games where it's actually really optimized for PC. In fact there's no three sixty pad can Control prompts, it's actually all keyboard. And, you know, I, I have been playing a little bit on keyboard uh, in between, and it plays fine. There is no camera control as far as I can see. That's a minus. But, it does play fine on keyboard and mouse. It doesn't require exact finesse. Um, you can see that it runs absolutely fine, jumping and blah, 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 blah. Um, you can guard. With the middle mouse button by the way guys pick up everything else you've got you've got all your controls that you'd expect so i mean i would definitely say that it's not a terrible game at all um obviously some of you guys are probably not going to uh to uh you know really appreciate it because it's you know an indie game but for the most part it's not too bad i think that uh you know it's worth picking up so anyway guys uh hopefully you guys have found the video helpful uh, take care of yourselves and uh, bye for now.